Um, if you sign up for the newsletter, you got the instructions for this and this emailed to you that you can go on the website for free, you guys, and um, get print, print, whatever, do the instructions. Um, here's the deal with, with what I think about um, this. I really think you need to watch the video with it if you're like me. I, I'm a visual person, and so it's really hard to for me to explain all the procedures because you're flipping and you're doing stuff. So I highly suggest that you watch the video and do these books because even today, I'm teaching you two more books today and trust me, it can get confusing even though it's all 12 by 12 papers. Brian, you've been loving it, right? I think it's great. Yeah, so, um, so again, you should have got the email if you're signed up for Teresa Collins Studio newsletter. I promise you, I, I normally don't send out newsletters even as much as this week, but I'm giving you the free content. And so I wanted to give you the free classes. I'm having a super fun time doing this. I hope you are. And so That's if you awesome. haven't signed up, please do. So today's class is going to be, woohoo, I love this little book here. We're gonna teach you this one. And you guys, oh. I just love this little book. So I'm gonna show you this book. We're gonna do this one today too. From your, oh, what happened? My, my, my clip is coming out. Okay, Squ don't call me squirrel. COVID hair don't care. I think my hair looks okay. I know mine doesn't I, I used okay. my three row barrel thing today. Okay, so there we go. These are all pockets. We're gonna do this today. Tag comes out. So I'm gonna show you how to make this with a 12 by 12. So we're gonna do two albums today. Are you ready? Do you have your paper trimmer? Do you have your adhesive and your scoreboard? That's what you need. These are pockets right here. This is washi tape that I have here because this is all like, this is like my grandmother brag book. And so I'm actually going to um, show you what I did here is I just have photos in these. These are pockets, you guys. And notice how I just put stickers. I have these really fun little word stickers. And I wanna show you because I think it's such a simple way to add fun stickers. So this isn't the actual ones I use, but you can see how these little words and different things you could put on the top of your project. And I think that's really cute to be able to do that. So, um, so this is a pocket. This second one is a pocket as well. So I have two of these here, blessings and happy. And then we also have, this is a tag. You can hold your tags that come out from here. And then I open it up again. And by the way, this is upside down because of the way that I did my words. I probably wouldn't use this paper on this one again just because my words were backwards. It really doesn't bother me because you don't really see it. But just be aware of that. If you're using a word paper, you might not want to do that. You can tell I put two of my stickers here, best life, good times. And then I also have stickers. And these are just all of my grandkids. I just tried to do like a, a really fun little um, book with my grandkids' photos in here. Again, there's a couple photos here. Kai did not like me kissing him. Too funny. And then, um, so again, this is washi tape. And then I close my book over. And then you can see there's washi tape right there as well. Okay. So we are going to create this one cute little book out of one sheet of 12 by 12 paper. So everybody get your paper, decide what you wanna use. Um, I think I'm going to do, gosh, what do I wanna do? Oh, I don't even know. So let me think here. I even, I have some that I've already pre-cut just to give you a general idea of how we're gonna do this. So I wanna make this really easy for you. So kind of like um, know that I'm gonna try to go as slow as I can, but also so that you can go along with me. So take out any paper that you would like, and I'm really addicted to this, this paper. It's one of my favorites. 
Um, it's And I, one thing about Teresa Collins papers is I always put a sentiment along the bottom. So I like to keep these and use these for my project. This one is Find the Good and the Bad. This is from my Bright Side collection. So I'm gonna use the yellow peony. So what you need to do is take your paper. Again, it's very important that you have a good sturdy um, weight paper. So you're going to just take it and um, if you have a strip on the bottom of your paper, if you will just cut the strip off, you're going to want to do that. And hopefully I'm all in the visual here. And I cut that off to have a 12 by 12 paper. And again, if you know my papers, I like to keep these and use these for journaling and stuff. Okay, now we've got this really beautiful 12 by 12 paper. And what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go by the instructions just because I want everyone to kind of like be able to um, kind of go along with me. Um, so you got your 12 by 12 paper and what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your scoreboard out. Okay, so now you're gonna score it at one and a half. And again, I am really particular about my scoreboards. Um, and so be careful um, and use one that doesn't cut through your paper. So do enough pressure that you're doing a score, but that it doesn't cut it, okay? So again, you're gonna score at one and a half inches from the left side, and then 10 and a half inches, or basically one and a half inches from both sides, okay? So then you have this beautiful, beautiful like score here. And um, what I like to do at this point, I like to take it, and I just like to take my paper, and I like a really good crease, you guys. So what I suggest is use your, you know, bone folder or your scoring tool, and make sure you get a really nice crease, okay? Turn it the opposite, you're gonna flip it to the opposite side, and now I want you to score it at six inches, the center of the book. I want you to score it at six inches, you guys. So you can see then that's the center. We have that score there. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this as well, and I'm gonna make sure that I have a really nice crease here. Okay. And this is really good. I do very he heavy, like cardstock weight paper. So it really does make a really nice album. And this is one of my favorite new um, papers that I designed. I love it. The yellow is like the perfect yellow. It's pretty. Yeah. So you guys, now we've scored in the center. We've scored the two ends. And now what side do you want to be your main, um, your main page is like, so I want mine to be the yellow. So if I, since I want the yellow to be my main, I am going to flip these up here um, and I'm gonna apply my adhesive along this side and this side. And also I'm gonna do here and here. So you can get your adhesive out if you like that. Okay. Now I'm not gonna touch it because it's lined up really good. Okay, you're not gonna, Brian says he's not gonna touch anything, you guys. Now, the reason why I use this one fourth inch tape is because I don't want um, the, I don't want the, I wanna have as much space as I can to put my photos in here, so. And also, I want the tape to make sure that it's not going to come off. This is some really good tape that I found in Europe. It was actually made in Korea. It's a no-name brand. Well, maybe it, it says book shook wing. I don't even know. Okay, don't even know. Here we go. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just taking this up, and on the two flap sides, I'm just going up, and I'm placing this down. Placing that down. And again, you can go in any order you want. Um, and these books are so easy to make. And after you've made them a few times, you're gonna be like really excited. You're gonna be like, this is awesome. Okay, so here we go here. Okay. Now, what you're gonna do is you're going to score 
directly in half here too. Okay, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Here, let me show you, it might be easier this way. I always think that sometimes, okay, so I wanted to show you kind of what we've done here. So we've got, might make it a little bit easier right here. Okay, so then we're gonna take this and we are going to fold this or score it in half, okay? So that you can, or some people may wanna just fold it over. It's completely up to you. See, some people, like I like a really good score, so for me, I just wanna show you, you could do that, or you can take it and go at four and a half inches. Just right in the center. You're a good teacher, by the way. It's like you've done this before. Oh my gosh, you're so funny, babe. You're so If funny. I can follow it, you're doing good. Really? Okay, so I just wanna show that. So now what we've done, we have our envelope pockets here and here, we've scored it at four and a half and we've scored it at six inches. Now, this is how simple it is. What you're gonna do now is, and I, and I went ahead and showed you this, so this is one that's already made up. You're going to use your scissors or your trimmer and you are going to cut only to six inches, you guys. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Because we're, so you're gonna take it from the left side and you're gonna cut only to the six inches. Okay, so I'm starting on the left side and I could totally use my trimmer, but I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it and I'm gonna go all the way up to the score mark, which is six inches, you guys. So I'm go here, there. Okay, so it should look like this. You should have, I don't know if that makes sense on one side. And then we have this piece here. This is what you should be at. You're gonna go, okay, now what do I do? Now, this is the magic. This is what you're gonna do. You're gonna flip these flips up, just like this. And you're gonna go like this, like that. And then you have your front page. You should have this, a center in there. And this is going to be your pocket, you guys. And then you're only gonna, if you want a pocket like I do, you're gonna put your adhesive along the left side and the bottom edge, okay? Here we go. So I've got my adhesive and I like to go all the way to the back edge. Okay, so I just took the adhesive off. Okay, so I'm gonna fold this over to show you that I've now created that. I wanted to show how you could add something else. So this same book, this is, you know, cause sometimes when you see a book and you see it all decorated and that's really fun. So I wanna show you the same book. I quickly did this um, earlier today so that you can see what you could do. So I like to um, give you some examples. So these are just tag, this is tags that you could put in. So maybe you don't wanna put photos. You could put tags. This is the same tag paper from this same line here. Um, paper clips are really good because if you're gonna have a tag page like I do and you wanna see the tag come out, what holds my tag in, you guys, is a paper clip. So that is a really fun way to add that. Um, I have some more tags in here as well. This is the second page. So you don't have to always use it for photos. This is also a really fun graduation. It could be a card, it can be a mini book, and really simple. And I love that this tag was showing from the, the end of my book. So I really like that. I think that's really cute, really simple. And so that's just showing you how to take your, your book and to use all the tag papers that you already have. The yellow paper is bright side. It's called ye yellow peonies, I think so. So anyway, so there is just some examples of how to make this book. I also wanted to show you one other one because um, speaking of clear, a lot of you know like you can do the same thing so I quickly did the exact, this is my clear paper. I wanted to show that you could, um, I made a tag book page out of this. So you can use really any 12 by 12 paper as long as it's pretty sturdy and look how pretty that is. So I really love that. And so that's just showing you, you know, you can use whatever you have and to create these books. And I think they're just super simple, super easy. The next class, you are gonna want to get another sheet of 12 by 12 paper out, whatever you want to use, because we are going to create
the cutest little book here. So we're gonna do these cute, 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 cute um, little books here. And um, again, I've done some, um, I've done a few just mock, you know, not, I don't wanna say mock-ups, but um, there is a few different ways you can do this project, you guys. And so I wanted to show um, what you can do and um, some different things. So just because I make it a certain way, there's this, I did not come up with any of these techniques. I just want you to know, they've been around forever. This is one of, you guys know that I have a new granddaughter, Emmy, and so I use this, and I use my Sassy Girl stickers, and I did this really cute little book, and so I'm gonna show you, and it has a little, like a little spine here, so I'm gonna show you how to make the spine, and I am addicted to this book, you guys. I think this may be, I don't know if it's, my, it can't be my favorite. It's like my kids, who is your favorite? So we're gonna do that one. Um, this is the exact same book, but I'm just gonna show you how I did this one. This is using, um, on your instructions, by the way, I do wanna point out that you will be able to get the instructions for this one. Um, when you go and sign up for my newsletter, it will be emailed to you. It's Teresa Collins, three by four, TC Bold War, 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 Words. I can't even say it. Word. And uh, Word and Leopard Mini Book, just so that you can remember which book it was. So um, this one here, very, very similar. You can see you can do pockets along the bottom or not pockets. But I, what I love about this is I'm going to show it from the top. Um, what I want to point out is I did not make these into tag papers, but I deliberately showed you that you could keep this open to add tags inside your pages if you so choose. So in my instructions and in my book, I did not do that, but I just wanted to point that out to you to kind of show you that we are going to make this book right here with one sheet of paper, but that you can make this your own. You can see that we're going to do a really fun little spine here. And so that's what we're going to do now. So I'm going to use this really pretty floral paper. This is this one. This is from my stationary studio oh. line the floral paper. This paper I love because Gentry actually did this paper, my daughter. She was an art major in college and she had done this behind the scenes. She had done this, this was her bathroom. She had done um, a mural by hand on her um, laundry room to save money and I saw it and I said, I need you to duplicate that so that I can create a paper with it. So this, I just have to tell you that's the story behind Gentry, this paper. So you don't need your strip on this. You can just cut those off. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your trimmer and you are going to cut off a piece that is four inches wide, okay? So this is gonna be your cover. So I am going to come here and at four inches. Oh, by the way, I should say double-sided paper always work best. I've got a very, um, it's a beautiful pink tone on the back. So, okay, so you're ready? Four inches and you're gonna cut. So what this one is, this is going to be the cover of our book. And so now that you've cut this four inch piece, we are gonna cut this to be the cover of your book. So you're gonna cut it again at six and one fourth inch wide. Six and four one fourth inch wide. Now, again, this is in your instructions. I wanna point that out. So six and one fourth inch, you're gonna cut it. And then this is going to be if you decide to do um, pockets along the bottom, and I will explain that. So put this to the side. You might wanna make pockets. If you do, great. If not, I did not do pockets in this one, but I'm gonna show you how. Okay, so this is going to go to the side, but this is your cover of your book. Okay, now what you're gonna do, you're gonna take the other piece that is 12 inches wide, and it is eight inches high, and you're gonna score it in the middle. So we're gonna get our scoreboard out, and you're gonna score it along the 12 inch side and score in the middle at six inches. Okay, now what you're gonna do 
just to show you that you're gonna take it and you're gonna score it at nine inches. So now what I did, you guys, I wanna show you this. So I scored it at three, six, nine, and this is 12 inches wide. So you're gonna take it and you're gonna do your bone folder and you're gonna do a nice crease. Now the, this is really important that as you're doing this, that you are, and this is the nine, it's nine inches high by 12 inches, and I'm just trying my best to keep it as perfectly aligned as I can. Sometimes I don't. So you can see this is, I scored at three, six, nine, along the 12 inch side. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip this to where it's eight inches, eight inches, and guess what you're gonna do? You're gonna score it at four inches. So this was eight inches now, you're gonna score it at four inches, and then I'll have to take it, fold it over, give it a really good crease, you guys, really good crease. Now what I want you to do is you've scored at three, six, nine. I want you to take it and just kind of give it a really good fold score. I like to do this, it just really helps it. it I have really thick paper. Those of you who have the Trace Collins paper know that my paper is cardstock weight. Um, and so it really does need you to give it, you know, cause you want the lines to be perfect. So I like to really take my time and score it, fold it. Okay, so then that's good for now, right? Okay, so I wanna show this at this point because I think this is gonna really help you what we're doing here. Okay, so this is just to show you what we did. Okay, so we're gonna make the, this is gonna be your cover, okay? So I want everyone to get your cover back out. So I thought it might make it easier for you. Hello. I'm gonna have you score at three and three and one fourth. That is how we're gonna make our cover. So this is just like a cheat guide for you. So you're gonna take the other little piece that was your cover and you're gonna score it at three and three and one fourth. Here we go. So here I go, scoring that at three, and then three and one fourth. This is how we're making the spine of this book, you guys. Okay, you guys, so this is, if you've done this with me, this was your cover, that it was scored at three inches and three and one fourth. Okay, so that really will kind of show you that's gonna be the outside cover of your book. Okay, then I wanna show you this because now this is what's so cool about what we just done here. You can see from this example here, this is our paper here. We've got all these score lines and we're in half. So what you're gonna do, and this is why I wanna show you this, I'm gonna flip it over. You are going to cut it eight inches, nine inches, excuse me, from the left, and you're gonna stop right here at nine inches, okay? So, you're gonna place this paper 12 inches wide, and you're gonna cut on the middle, the score line of the book, four inches, you can see, line it up, and you're gonna go ahead, and you're gonna trim it to nine inches, that means, to that third score line. And so when you get the instructions, you're gonna go, okay, and we go all the way to this line here, which is the third line. Okay, now I'm gonna show that to you again. So you're going to, you're gonna cut 
cut it all the way from the far left to the third score line. Okay, now you do not need your trimmer anymore, you guys. Well, you might if you wanna do the pockets, but I'm gonna put that aside. So, um, I'm going to now show you how to make your book. So, you have your cover, which um, I have my cover here that you kind of see right here. Now, by the way, I want my cover to be flowers because I love my flower paper. So, my cover, it could be either side. You decide. When you cut this piece, you could decide whatever you cut, you guys. You could use the flowers like I did or you could say, oh, I want, you know, whatever. So, it's completely up to you what your cover is. So, that's my cover. So, on this only because it makes it just a little bit easier you fold it over and then you're gonna take your pages and you're gonna go like this and you're gonna go fold in fold in that side that side so now don't worry so your front cover is one sheet your back cover should be one sheet and then these are your inside pages that could be Again, just like the last class, this could be a pocket, you guys, or these could be tag holders. A lot of people like to make and keep these open for tags, okay? So, keep that in mind, and then we're going to put the cover on. So, I have my paper, and I folded it over, okay? And I'm maybe going to show it this way. So, I folded it over, and then I take my pages, and I just line them up, squeeze them in, and then I fold over one side, I fold in the next side, and then this is my front and my back cover, okay? And again, you can decide which side you want to be on your front and back, just so you know. And then I pull it over, and then your, your book should be, the first sheet will be solo, and then the double, 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 and then the single. Okay, so now what I like to do um, is I take it and I'm gonna put my adhesive on my front and my back cover. Because I haven't decided if I want to, I haven't really decided yet if I want to make my book into a tag book or, and I'm gonna show you a couple options here. So I'm just putting my adhesive on the front, okay, and then I'm gonna, Flip it over, this is my back, so I'm gonna just do the exact same thing. So on my front cover here, this is, my front cover should open up to the left like a regular book. So what I've done is I put my adhesive on all four sides. And then I'm just gonna be really careful, and this is my front cover, you can tell. And I've scored it already, and we're just gonna line up the front, and just, you know, the hardest part is lining that up. So I've adhered it to the front, you guys. You can see the first page. And then, there's my spine. There's my spine. And then I'm gonna take this over, and I'm gonna put adhesive, which I already have. You can see the spine here. And then I'm gonna take the adhesive, Okay. Now, if for some crazy reason I did not make sense to you, I would say don't get frustrated. Just watch this video again and, and make it because I promise you um, the more you do it, the easier it will get. Okay, so here I want to show you something because sometimes um, like it shows a little bit here and I've done that before. And so for me, sometimes I just trim it if I feel like it didn't quite line up the way I wanted it to. And on certain paper, you couldn't even tell, but on this one, I could tell. So I did just a little hair, you can't even see. So now we have the front, okay? And we have, when you open up my book, you can see we have this page. And actually, I'm gonna show it this way. You can see when I open up the book, so you can see there's a pocket here. Now you're gonna look at this, and this is where you have to decide. If you want to create a pocket page, um, you're only going to put adhesive, you know, or how you're going to, how you want to do it. So here is a couple ways that some people like to do it. So I want to show you, for me, I know that I'm probably going to make this a tag page. So what I'm going to do in the middle book um, is I'm like, okay, I think I want to do that one. 
So I'm just putting adhesive like right in the center of my book because I think I'm going to make this a, a pocket page. And I didn't do that on my other ones, but I just want to show you some options. So then I can do this. Okay, so then I could put, let's just pretend this was a pocket page. Like I could put tags in here, okay? So I'm just doing that to kind of, whoops, that kind of like stayed in there. Okay, so that could be a pocket page, but also I could make these tag pages as well. So what you can do along the bottom, you can decide now, this is the bottom of your book. Now, this is where you wanna decide whether you just put adhesive along the bottom, and some people just like, um, they like to put clear glue there, which you can do to make this a pocket. Or you have, and this is why I didn't wanna confuse anybody, you also have this remaining piece right here. And so what you could do, and this is another way to do it, I'm gonna just show you how to do this. You could cut this at three inches wide with your remaining pieces, and then let's just say two inches. And you could cut all of these to be three, because your book is three inches wide, okay? And you can take these pieces and you could score them in half. This is just, this is another way to do it. You don't have to do this, you guys, but this was extra paper that you had. This one was a little bit bigger, so I'm just gonna take it, score it, wherever. And then what you could do is you could decide did you want to do, and I didn't do this in mine, you guys. I'm gonna show you mine, just to show you that I didn't do this. So when you see this book here, I did not do that. I just glued these all down. I didn't make pocket pages. It's up to you if you want pocket pages. I did leave this one open if I wanted a pocket page. So this is really up to you with this book to kind of decide what you want to do with it. So I did want to show you this in case you do. So here's my book cover. And so say I wanted to create a pocket, you could just take it and you could do this side or you could do this side, right? You could take it and actually, I'm gonna do this side just so that you can see. So what I could do now is I could put adhesive on the far left and right side to make tab pages. So I wanna show this just cause I think it's super cute and this is another way to do it. Like I said, there is no rules. So what I'm putting is adhesive on my tabs just to kind of show you another option that if you like to make pockets, out of those and I think they're super cute and super simple to do so I'm just putting adhesive on the sides and I just made these tabs and even one of them isn't the right size but I'm using every piece every inch of my paper with this and this does make a complete um, one sheet 12 by 12 piece of paper makes this album like I didn't use anything else you guys so now what I've done is I've taken off this using this, here we go. And then again, along the, here's the front of the book again. And along the bottom, if you want to do, oh, I put that one on the wrong side, let's, let's do it this. Uh, yeah, I wanna do the, I wanted to show you this really pretty, I love this color that is on the back of my paper. So along the bottom of your book, you're just gonna line it up and you're gonna fold it over and then look, you guys, you've created a pocket. So let's pretend that we wanna put that in there. So then you could put in anything in your pockets if you wanna do it, or it could be decorative and not even a pocket. Completely up to you what you wanna do. But I did wanna show you this option. Um, and, you could, and you could use you know, another option too, like washi tape could be along the bottom because I'm addicted to washi tape. So if you wanted to do that, um, I'm gonna put this one over here because I'm gonna keep this one a side pocket. So look how I did this. And um, I can see a little bit, that, I'm gonna trim this just a little bit to just show you in action. So now this is kind of like a pocket that I could add, you know, little things inside my pocket here just to show you. Um, and the other thing is this one right here is now a pocket too. So I could add a photo, I could add anything. Let's just pretend that we're gonna put this in here. So we're just gonna put this in here to show that this is now a pocket. So now this whole book is so cute, completely done. 
and you've created one paper, or I should say one book. Look how cute this is. And then I use my rubber bands. I tie my ribbon on. I did a couple just to show you again. I did a couple more with different papers. Again, paper quality is so important. And then your cover, you're gonna place your cover on the front and the back. And that's how simple it is to make a little book that is three by four out of one sheet of paper. I also did one here that is a gratitude book. We have the one here. Um, decorated if you want, you can add little, um, you could do love notes too. You don't have to add photos. Like I think it'd be really cute to like have a little love note section. You can add those there. I've added this to this little book and we've added this. Thank you for joining us for our workshop. Um, I hope that you love the projects as much as I've loved showing them to you, creating them. Thank you so much. I really can't, you know, tell you thank you enough for everything that you're doing. And I hope that you're liking these classes and they're giving you some um, inspiration for your creativity and your memory keeping. And just know that we love you. So thank you so much. And I think you can be... Bye, you guys.